Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Andy Root channel, the only original Cobra Kai channel and also the most inconsistent. Today, we're talking about the newly now confirmed character, Terry Silver. I shouldn't say he's a new character, but you guys know what I mean. Terry Silver is officially back and is going to be in Cobra Kai Season 4. I think we all assumed that this was going to happen, but now it is 100% confirmed. Yes, I am very late to this, but the wait will be worth it. Now, I'm sure we're all thinking about how this character is going to interact with the rest of the characters. The first person to mind is probably John Kreese, and I'm sure they're going to act just like they did in the third Karate Kid movie. They will be teaming up to make Cobra Kai bigger and badder than ever. But what is something that Cobra Kai the show does with its characters? They shed some light on their backstory and make us sympathize with them. I previously made a video on John Kreese not being the bad guy, and then I made a video on his origin being revealed in Season 2, which ended up being revealed in Season 3. I think the same thing would be said with Terry Silver's character. I mean, we all wanted to know why John Kreese was the way he was, but we were never given a tease of how different of a man he used to be. With Terry Silver, that's different. We know him as this smug, deranged millionaire in Karate Kid 3, but in Cobra Kai Season 3, we see him as this scared little wimp. Something drastic must have happened to him after Vietnam, considering he's even worse than John Kreese. I would hope that is revealed in Season 4, considering that the season will probably focus on him as the main antagonist. It all depends on how long he's going to be in the show. If Robbie wins the tournament like everyone thinks he is, then he may be around for Season 5, but in my opinion, I think it's totally reasonable to only be around one season. He's just too dangerous to be left around if that makes sense. I'm not sure how dark our Cobra Kai is going to get, but a Terry Silver or John Kreese death wouldn't be the last thing I think would happen. So what do you think happened to Terry Silver? I have a little theory on it and it's probably my wildest theory yet. I'm 90% sure that this theory is going to be wrong, but it's still fun to make ridiculous scenarios like this. So here we go. Terry Silver is Johnny Lawrence's father. <laughs> I know you all probably just dropped your glasses and gasped, but hear me out on this. I know I said probably no one in the Karate Kid universe is related, but if they are, then this is the best scenario. Terry Silver is way too old to be Miguel's father, so that is out of the picture, but him being Johnny's father? That would make the story a lot more interesting. If John Kreese isn't able to bring Johnny back to Cobra Kai, then maybe Terry will. Cobra Kai's plan isn't to just destroy Daniel and Johnny's dojo by beating them up. No, they're smarter than that. They want to destroy it from the inside. They want to manipulate them. That's what Terry Silver is known for. He uses his cunningness and charm to get what he wants. Not just brute strength like Kreese, but to really fight smart. That's why Kreese needs Terry Silver to take them down. Eagle Fang and Miyagi-Do clearly have the better fighters. Cobra Kai only really has Tori and Robbie as top competitors, but they don't even really have Robbie 100%. Kreese needs Silver to manipulate Robbie and to take their dojo down at the same time. So honestly, you could say this video is also about Terry Silver's purpose in Season 4, but I'm going to get into my theory on how they will take them down. I mean, my ridiculous theory with Terry Silver being Johnny's father. Let me tell you how this will work. So throughout the whole show, there was no mention of Johnny's father at all until Season 3 when Sid brings him up. He proceeds to call Johnny a loser just like his father. I always thought that line was interesting to me because it was so out of place. It was almost as if he knew him. The show never talked about Johnny's father at all or had any mention of him until that scene. Who was he? Why does Sid think he's a loser? Where is he now? Is he dead? This made me raise a lot of questions, but it was brushed over by most people, of course. It's probably meant in the context of Johnny's father being a deadbeat dad who left him and his mom, but Sid did not need to make that comparison to make his point across that Johnny is a bad father. Sid himself wasn't even that great, so what gives him the right to say that? He would have had to know him to make a statement like that, because otherwise, he only would have had heard about him from Johnny's mother, and I'm sure he wouldn't be brought up much. That statement was obviously meant to hurt Johnny, but it would only hurt him if he had some type of relationship with his father. They're obviously insinuating that his father was in the picture at one point and then left. If his dad died before he was born or something, then this line wouldn't have even been put in. With all that being said, who was Johnny's father and what was his relationship with him? Maybe Johnny never even met his father and he just left and only heard that he was a bad guy. Regardless, the show has to touch upon that since they want to make the arc the same. And to do that, his father would have to be introduced as a character. They could theoretically just have it be said that his father just left them, but that would require them to touch upon that story somehow. 
You see where I'm going with this? I may be overanalyzing this, but think about what I just said. I could make a whole video about this line here, but this is only to support my theory of Terry Silver being Johnny's father. I know what you're thinking, though. How could Terry Silver be Johnny's father if Johnny said he had no idea who that was in Season 1? That's easy. He was either lying or never knew him. Regardless, it works in the context of his father being someone who left him. Mr. Lawrence, what is your relationship to this Terry Silver? Ma'am, I have no idea who that even is. The way William Zabka delivered that line, though, made me think it was genuine belief that he doesn't know who Terry Silver is. But it's not like he would really know his father's name either. If you know him, though, he would probably call him Dad, not Terry Silver. It would be a hell of a reveal for Johnny to find out that his dad is Terry Silver, especially for Robbie to find out that he is his grandfather. I'll touch upon what's going to happen with Robbie and Terry Silver if my theory is correct. If this theory is true, then it's master planning from the writers. I know I've said previously that the characters shouldn't be related, but this could actually work. We need to know Terry Silver's backstory, and we need to know what happened with Johnny's father. They can't just randomly mention him like that and never do it again, right? I've seen this type of writing in shows before. One of my favorite shows, Once Upon a Time, did a very similar thing to reveal a character's father. Spoiler alert for those who haven't seen the show or want to see the show. So basically, a character's father, Rumpelstiltskin, was brought up randomly for the first time before an arc in the show. He was only known as his father who happened to be a coward, and that was that. Everyone thought you were a coward, just like your father. Nothing like my Later on, he was revealed to be the main villain that the characters were fighting against. Some clues were revealed throughout the show that he was his father, but you had to put the pieces together. I think Cobra Kai could do something similar. But first, let's rewatch that scene I've been talking about with Sid and Johnny talking about his father. Then we will go from there. If I had anything to give, I would. Well, you got nothing to give because you're a loser, like your father. Yeah. Now, you can say what you want about me, but at least I stuck around. Yeah, sticking around being a bully isn't much better than leaving, but I'm trying to do better. I'm going to see Robbie. Yeah. And I'm trying to scrape together whatever I can to help Miguel's family. Now, I hope you can see what I'm talking about now. It was very out of nowhere, but it really deeply affected Johnny. Will this be something touched upon in the show again? Probably not, but for the sake of this video, we're going to go off of this, all right? Now, I'm not sure how accurate this Karate Kid Wiki site is, but I'm going to go off of its canon. According to this site, Johnny was born on August 20th, 1967 to Lara Lawrence and an absent father who we are going to call Terry Silver. Lara married Sid Weinberg, a wealthy yet highly abusive man who used his financial power to intimidate Lara and Johnny. I'm not sure if Lawrence is her maiden name, but that would make my theory a lot better if Terry Silver is his father, considering his name was still Silver in the military. When Terry was 17, his parents were killed in a car accident. His father gambled away most of his money, and so Terry was left with very little inheritance. With nowhere to turn, he went to the U.S. Army, enlisted in 1968, which is one year after Johnny was born. I think it is entirely possible to fill in some details that happened during that time. Like John Kreese, Terry could have had a girlfriend, but he accidentally got her pregnant. With no money to support this child, he had no choice but to enlist and to have her wait for him to come back. What if Terry didn't actually leave them? The show is setting you up to think that he's a bad guy who left them, but what if it was really Lara who left him? Someone very desperate to make sure the child has their best life. Someone who would be willing to marry someone who is cruel, but rich. Is it starting to click now? Why would she marry such an abusive asshole? It was even said on the show why. She wanted what was best for Johnny. It wasn't the fact that he left them for the sake of leaving. She left Terry and married a rich asshole because he didn't have the money to take care of them. It would come back to find this out after Vietnam. But to make this more interesting, let's just say Terry and Sid have history and know each other. To make matters worse, they all could have known each other, but Lara chose Terry over Sid until he left and she was desperate. He probably tempted her to marry him for his money. Imagine coming back after the traumatic experience of war to see your girlfriend going to marry your bully. It's enough to drive anyone crazy. Ding ding ding. I'm sure at that point we could see Terry leaving and then giving up to chase his own ambitions. You see now we have a motive for becoming a millionaire. To not repeat his father's mistakes and to rub it in everyone's face. But now you may ask, why didn't Terry ever see Johnny? Maybe because he wasn't allowed or Lara made it clear for him to stay out of their life. We know Terry to do some very messed up stuff, so it isn't impossible for him to have some type of restraining order or 
not be allowed custody. Maybe he just didn't want to be there either. When he left, he left for good and gave up trying to be a father. This is literally a villain origin story. In my opinion, I think Terry always kept an eye on him and tried to have some influence in his life. It just so happens that there's a Cobra Kai dojo right down the street from his house. Maybe Terry told Kreese to mentor Johnny and take him as his pupil. It would make sense why he always took a liking to Johnny. Not just because he was the best, but because he was pretty much family. I'm sure Terry also heard about Lara dying, but I won't get into too much detail, considering this is still a theory. I just want you guys to get the basic idea. Now Terry Silver is back and is going to take his own grandson under his wing, and he's not even going to know it's his own grandfather. Maybe it was the plan all along to get Robbie to be his pupil. Who knows, but look how much juicier the story is now. Johnny may come to realize once he finds out who his father is that he's just like him. And with Robbie figuring out who he is, gives him less of a reason to leave Cobra Kai. But personally, I think Robbie will realize how corrupt his grandfather is and not listen to him in the end. Regardless of them being family, they are still going to try to manipulate him, which is not cool. And all this leaves Terry Silver to be the main villain in Cobra Kai Season 4. We know what he wants, why he's doing it, and how he's going to do it. Call me crazy, but this works perfectly for me. What do you guys think? Is Terry Silver Johnny's father? I could go into more detail, but you guys understand what I'm saying. At least I hope. Otherwise, it would just be a fan fiction unless it's true. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to see more content like this. I know I can sometimes be inconsistent with my uploads, and I apologize for that. It will all make sense soon enough because I'm going to start vlogging and promoting other things I do in my life on this channel, such as music. I'm still reading the comments, so if you had a video suggestion, don't worry, I'm getting to that next. Until the next video, peace.